What is up, everybody? Welcome back once again to Hot Toys Hotline. As you can see, I'm not by myself today. I am joined by Ryan from Mr. Mom Collectibles, but there is a reason for that. So, guys, I'm happy to announce today we are starting a new series. It is a joint series between Ryan and I, and it is called 2.0 or Leave It Alone. Uh, so basically, guys, this series is going to be us taking a look at some older figures and kind of sharing our thoughts on whether we think Hot Toys should take another stab at it and give us collectors another chance at grabbing these figures. Uh, but guys, let's get right into it. All right, guys, today we're actually going to be talking about a figure that I know a lot of people are begging to see another issue for, and that figure is going to be the OG Winter Soldier. So, Ryan, uh, we're going to talk about the OG Winter Soldier today, and I know this one comes up a lot on the live streams especially. There's a lot of people that are begging and begging for this reissue. What are your thoughts on this figure in, uh, in terms of uh, its current standing? When you look at it, do you think it fits in with a lot of figures currently in people's collections, or do you think it could uh, kind of use like, a couple updates and such? All right, so for me, this is, uh, especially since this being our first episode, I know we talked about a lot of figures bouncing around. And, uh, you know, there's some that I think you and I both agree on don't need to be touched, some that mm. need to be a uh, direct reissue, no touch, you know, no changes, or one that needs a desperate 2.0 upgrade. And I think, like you said, uh, in the community, uh, me only being in it for about two years, and pretty much in a top five when people when it comes to people like hey this needs to be reissued reissued although people don't like that word they prefer 2.0 because they want something new with extra it's almost got to be the winter soldier comes up in everyone's top five i mean some people want a 2.0 just for the sake of they missed out on a figure but i think i could arguably say that the winter soldier is probably in everyone's top five maybe even top three of a figure that even if you have it because of the major flaking issues and the quality yeah. of the original um this is one that existing collectors new collectors pretty much i think everyone in the community is pretty unanimous that they want definitely 100 percent. so it made sense that we uh use this as the the kickoff to the series because i think everyone can agree this one desperately needs a 2.0 yeah we were talking about this a lot backstage and and this is one that again like you said this comes up a lot in conversations and the main reason is is because this one has a lot of issues uh Guys, this one was actually released in 2014, so it's been about eight years since this one was released. And unfortunately, it's one of those that's not aging well. You guys know Hot Toys is notorious for using pleather on a lot of their figures. And unfortunately, some pleather that, that they used was better than others. This one seems to be one of the biggest culprits for flaking. Uh, we do have the Sideshow page pulled up here. And our, the main reason I wanted to pull it up, we're going to jump over to the Hot Toys Hong Kong page. But the main reason I wanted to pull it up, because guys, this figure was originally $239.99. Now, you may say that's not too far off from current pricing. However, it does include two head sculpts. So uh, we're going to jump over to the Hot Toys page so we can kind of get a bit more information about this figure. Because unfortunately, some of the older listings on Sideshow, for whatever reason, a lot of the photos get deleted. Um, so we can't even see the photo with all the accessories and such. But yeah, Ryan, this is a beautiful figure. And this is one, and you, you had asked me earlier before we started, like, do you already have this figure in your collection? And we could both kind of share that now. Me personally, I do not have this in my, in my collection. Do you have this one uh, in your collection, Ryan? I do not have this one. So when I started collecting, um, I started collecting in 2020, yeah, 2020 it was, uh, May specifically. And, um, you know, I missed out on this one. I did, however, get the Infinity War version, um, but I ended up, selling it because it just didn't fit in the collection because i wasn't going hardcore in that line um i really felt like this was kind of a companion piece with captain america but you know to me the winter soldier um and i know that now it's like bucky so they kind of relabeled it depending on the, the movie that he was in but for me i give this like the war machine treatment what we talked about when it comes to war machine the mark one is like my definitive i don't need like iron man i don't need six versions of Mar uh, war machine i think the og is the definitive same thing with this figure uh when it comes to the winter soldier bucky whatever you call him to me this is the version that i think of you know with the mask you know the assassin um with the long hair this is the version that i think is the og so like if i had this one i wouldn't even need an, another uh winter soldier i know they did civil war i believe then what they do infinity war and then they did you know from the tv show so i believe that's if i'm not mistaken it's four versions of this figure yeah I'm not mistaken um the head even the head sculpt to be very honest i would expect with a 2.0 i mean i know if correct me if i'm wrong 
sometimes they'll update the head sculpt like i think this is going to get a hud sculpt upgrade if they ever did a 2.0 but even then looking at that from eight years ago sculpt's not bad that is not a bad looking head sculpt i mean you can no, look at that not. and that looks like bucky immediately yeah so i mean i i totally agree with you and, and the thing is i think a lot of people have avoided picking this one up because of the issues and obviously mm -hmm. With this one being that it's so notorious to having those issues, a lot of people are very aware of that. Even it seems like a lot of newer collectors are very aware. So I would agree with that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and it's definitely unfortunate because, like you said, this is the definitive Sebastian Stan Winter Soldier. When you think of Winter Soldier, this is the Winter Soldier you think of. This is the Winter Soldier that killed Tony Stark's parents. And, and a lot of people who have these Civil War figures especially, they want to have this in their collection. Um, it's very unfortunate that this one is not aging well, and it is still pretty expensive. Mm -hmm. I haven't checked into what the price is recently, but consistently, I know this guy has sold for four four fifty uh, very recently, even with those issues. And I've seen ones that had very bad flaked pleather, and the seller let people know that and still sold it for like three fifty, three seventy five. So it's crazy how much people, and that just shows how much people really want this version. And you know what's also interesting about this? I've also seen people that maybe have gotten uh misled is a nice word of saying like you know in terms of this one so this is like a roulette kind of figure it um is. same thing with uh the red skull you know all right we were just it. talking about it, that it's kind yeah. of roulette you know you're run, you're you're running roulette on this thing because is the seller going to be 100 percent forthcoming about this are they going to say hey these are the issues da, 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 da. or are they going to take a photo of something and then you know you're going to buy the figure for you know a high amount of money and then you kind of open up the box like a christmas present you know you're you don't know what you're right. getting and that's honestly not a good feeling you should be really excited to buy this figure um and get it and really be able to open it up and be proud to display it and i really think this is one that people are just gun shy about and and you know we're going to get into it but i mean it's almost one of those where people are going to buy the figure and then i think in hopes of rather um not knowing if there's gonna be a 2.0 i know people are buying this figure and turning to third-party resources to fix the figure so that figure yeah. that had a 400 dollars plus base price you know you're you're making that what a five six seven hundred right hundreds more thing? dollars to get it repaired or kind of re-altered point you know exactly and and that kind of goes along with the whole point of this series is like when you're thinking about it like this figure really does need a reissue i think we can kind of start getting into that now because if you have to spend six, seven hundred dollars to get your definitive Winter Soldier, that should be a sign to Hot Toys to say, OK, maybe this is one that we need to take another look at. And we know, obviously, we all know it's a big meme and a joke like every Iron Man. Don't worry, you're going to get a reissue of that Iron Man. And that is true. Mm -hmm. But I, I think this is a, a definitely a contender for a 2.0. And I think it's one that needs a 2.0. Uh, being that people are spending all this money to get it in their collection. And like you said, some people are having to spend additional funds they could use on other figures to either repair it or have the, the vest redone so it doesn't flake. And it, it's crazy to me that people are having to spend that amount of money on a very popular character, you know? So I would love to see this one kind of get another once over. Um, again, we I talked about I the price. I think Toys would win the community over, honestly. I think they would win the community Absolutely. over. Absolutely. I think you'd have those people, uh, not to, you know, like me, for example, if, you know, I have an 89 Batman, Michael Keaton, if they reissued that figure, I'd buy that figure again because I'm, I love this one so much. And I think that right. you'd win over people that have it. I think they would repurchase it, honestly, because, I mean, if you want to talk about it real fast and then, you know, it's off the cuff. If they did a 2.0, what do you think you get out of this? I think you get a new body, too. I think it might be a little bit taller because I, I know with 2.0s, they do make them a little bit bigger. Or I don't think it would use the same body from eight years ago. I think they might change the body up a little bit if I'm, you know, for a 2.0. Yeah, so you can see here what he comes with before it, uh, it keeps scrolling on us. But you can see here, he does include kind of everything you would want. I think for the most part, we would definitely expect updated proportions. Mm -hmm. Obviously, on his mechanized arm here, we would see much better updated paint apps to where it looks even more like real metal. Obviously, Hot Toys is really uh, locked in that like chrome paint job to make it look like like solid metal when it really isn't. So they really have been selling that really well lately. It, it's hard to say what material they would use on this vest. We did see some some actual leather being used. It was mentioned that maybe the Vulture had an, a, a real leather jacket mm -hmm. uh, when he was displayed at, at the the con recently. The Wolverine from uh, Wolverine has a real leather jacket. He announced that that had leather. Like, exactly, crosshair. Crosshair yep. from the Bad Batch. That one is actually listed to have real leather on this Hot Toys website that we're on here. So they have shown that they're interested. Also, Nightmare Batman, perfect example. They redid mm -hmm. that material so it stands the test of time. So mm -hmm. 
they obviously are interested in proving their products, especially uh, with the pressure from many other companies like InArt and other companies that are coming up and starting to make figures. It's definitely kind of helping us as collectors get uh, more for our money out of these figures and hopefully figures that will stand the test of time. So I can only imagine, and you, you mentioned this earlier and, and you used the wording that I would have used and you said this would literally break the internet if they if they reissued this figure and it absolutely would. If we mm -hmm. got a true 2.0 of this figure with an updated sculpt, Hell, even if it was just the same sculpt with updated paint apps, I think a lot of people would be pleased. I personally think the best Bucky head sculpt and the best Sebastian Stan likeness is the Infinity War one. I but if I, had, if I had one choice, if anybody had one choice for one Winter Soldier, you're going to pick this one. Mm -hmm. Nine times out of ten, you're going to pick this one. Mm -hmm. Just because this is the most iconic Winter Soldier look. This is the Winter Soldier. So, Sorry, guys. I'm a little sick, so... Uh, sorry if you hear me sniffling every once in a while, but yes, this is an incredible figure. What else would I include in it? I don't know. I think some sort of like a uh, uh, special display base that they include with this one, because obviously this has the original super boring, plain uh, Marty McFly RoboCop style display base that we got years ago. So uh, maybe a cool like Hydra display base with some sort of lights or something on it. I'd be cool with that. Maybe like a, a, a cap shield laying at the bottom. I don't know. Something, I, I was going to say, except you know? through the lights, because talking about that now, which that's something we get into is like, okay, if we get a 2.0, kind of what do we think we'd get with it? I'm just thinking out loud, like a different accessory, because I, I don't know a lot of times the 2.0s, um, like for example, the I believe it was the Mark 46, you know, they did a, a 2.0 on that and right. they altered stuff. They took away the head sculpt, they gave you a different base just to you know make it you know change it up right. i think for this one i mean i could see like a captain america shield because i remember he threw the shield at him and exactly he caught it and he kind of held it like yep. like an iconic moment so i honestly could see like this the um the civil war shield the blue one i think it was where it was like the blue and the silver if i'm not yeah. mistaken and then the other thing which i think might be pretty cool because if they don't want because we also know which we i guess we could talk about is what we think the price would be on it if it was a 2.0 and i don't know if we would still get the two head sculpts but maybe maybe use some new technology and use just the one head sculpt and make the mask magnetized or however they did it with the loki from 2012 I, where you can put that mask on them so you really can use one sculpt and just put that bracket over where it would be the mask so it eliminates having to use two head sculpts so that's something different that i thought yeah about. that that would be cool my, my only question is is like how would they maybe swap out eyes? Who knows, guys? I mean, maybe, maybe a whole swap out faceplate. That's yeah, really their true. their solution they'd be doing recently is a swap out faceplate. Because obviously the raccoon eyes, a lot of people love that look. So yep. I, I think they could achieve it, though. Without doing two head sculpts, I think they could achieve it. Yeah. And the important thing to note, guys, is there was a... This is obviously the Winter Soldier, uh, Winter Soldier, but there was also a Civil War Winter Soldier. So for me, it's like, I feel like if they did one that was kind of the definitive crossover between the two, that would be like the perfect release for me. Mm -hmm. But yeah, guys, I, I think there's a lot of opportunities for uh, different accessories they'd include. And especially, again, with the diorama display bases, Hot Toys seems to be really obsessed with those right now. So mm -hmm. I could definitely see them throwing something like that in. But yeah, I mean, I'm sure you guys in the comments, feel free to share your thoughts, because I know this is one that a lot of people are very uh, excited to talk about because it's one that's definitely long overdue. So if you guys have some thoughts on some different 2.0 accessories, definitely leave them down below in the comments, because obviously when you're alive and on air, you kind of your mind gets a little foggy. So there might be stuff that we didn't think about that's very obvious. So definitely uh, throw it in the comments below. But guys, as Ryan mentioned earlier, uh, there are some people that are having to run to like third party uh, customizers and such to fix this figure, the issues with this figure. And uh, one that's very popular that I know a lot of you guys have either heard of or utilized in the past, uh, G Wiz Customs. Uh, they actually have a, a post from 2018 here. So this is only four years into this figure being on the market and already having these bad uh, pleather flaking issues. Um, this is a post that they made. You can see here, they have a whole breakdown. They said, it's an, it is an unfortunate fact that action figure clothing made from PVC leather has a tendency to flake and crack over time when an environment conditions should be are very humid or there is proper air circulation, uh, no proper air circulation with, within the display area or when the material is enclosed in a box for long periods of time. And this is something that Ryan brought up before the, the uh, recording started. Perfect example, Ryan had mentioned the Red Skull. Red Skull, I've personally seen in the past, I had one that I bought from a lot and I opened it up and you could see that all of the material was stuck to the plastic. And that figure was sold to me as brand new. But the thing is, guys, new in box isn't always the way to go. And especially if you're looking at a figure like this, and if you can't absolutely wait for the possibility of a 2.0, 
definitely don't go hunting for a new in box one in my opinion and the reason i say that is because some people who have these new in box they've had it new in box obviously since 2014 they may have never even peeked in to look under the lid they may have just been fine keeping it on their shelf in the box and just left it there for many years and you never know the pleather, pleather could be flaking rotting could be stuck to the inner lid and that's a very dangerous game to play because like ryan said you're spending a lot of money on this figure as is without accounting for the undisclosed uh pleather flaking issues and then let's say you have to go to g Wiz customs to have them repair it i don't know the exact uh cost but i know i've had uh quotes from them before for something very basic like repairing a chewbacca bandolier and that was 250 dollars. so i imagine for this it's going to be way more so guys uh, this is not a figure that you want to play around with and go and buy new in box i know a lot of people like to buy new in box stuff but ryan what are your thoughts on, on this this third party service here being offered like does that kind of hit the whole thing home in terms of what this figure needs in terms of a 2.0 you know i a couple things to touch point on one is as you're talking about figures um you know people buying them in the box sometimes people have you know, like FOMO and maybe they don't have the space to display figures so they will buy stuff and then and say hey listen I'm gonna buy these figures so I don't want to miss out on them and I know I'm gonna upgrade my display down the road and it'll eventually get displayed hey listen life happens and sometimes you just don't get to it that's just what the reality is and for some of these figures I kind of it sounds like a joke when I say this they need to be displayed for one yeah, reason or another it's true a, because they're works of art B we paid a lot of money for them so they should be showcased but Agreed. C you know if to me, if they're going to deteriorate anyway, I'd rather have them on the shelf, like the exactly. BVS Batman. Like I got the BVS Batman brand new, and I thank God that that thing is still in pristine condition. I don't pose it. It sits there museum, but I've seen that suit also destroyed, absolutely falling apart. Yeah. Um, the Terminator you know, figures, the leather jackets falling apart. So like I said, that's probably one of the ones I have that I'm really thankful for, that it's in great condition. When it comes to this, hot toys obviously it's it's i use the word roulette but they obviously know what's going on they listen to the community they see that you know when a third party company pushes them enough and bends their arm they're gonna do something or respond in some way yeah and we've um, seen that recently you know oh yeah we've seen it recently you know um yeah you know in art you know they're coming out with their joker which looks fantastic hopefully that makes hot toys step up their game yeah or uh for example uh all the people out there i'm not trying to name anybody pick on anybody but those who make the usb lightsabers how many times i mean i've bought them before the usb lightsabers. yeah the cfl lightsabers yeah yeah or you know or the built-in you anything usb related and hot toys is like great idea man we're gonna be taking it or yeah hey listen hold my beer you know that right exactly and so it's showing it's throwing some shade at those third party guys that are doing wonders for the community they're not yeah. doing it just because they're doing it because they saw a void opened by hot toys and said hey i can fill this and service the community so there's nothing yeah. wrong with that but hot toys obviously sees it and is responding to it how long will it take and we get little dribs and drabs of this and i think that we're going to touch on another video about this in the future about things um that we hope to see more maybe consistent from hot toys and it's yeah. definitely i think the leather they use it on some and not on others like the wolverine uh, that's coming out from uh days of futures past they advertised the heck out of it that that's going to have a leather jacket. real leather jacket yeah yeah and you know what i think people in the community will pay a little bit more of a premium if it's justified i would figure comes out oh yeah so would i if i'm going to pay yeah. a little bit more money but knowing i'm getting this this and this sign me up all day you can take my money all day it's no problem so i think it, it, this is just an example that if there's people out there doing this it's just waiting for hot toys just to pull the trigger same thing with vehicles if there's another vehicle manufacturer out there that's doing something hot toys is going to say hold my beer hang on a second we'll we'll do this so th they're a little inconsistent with that but they see what's going on with the market they see especially with 2.0 reissues they see sometimes where things are going in terms of too much money and hey let's do a reissue to kind of drop the market down on that to give people another chance now we're waiting on the winter soldier personally for this i think it will happen eventually it's just a matter of when you know when's it gonna happen personally right yeah, yeah. and i think you're right with this one and that's probably gonna be a question that a lot of people in the comments are thinking of right now when is this gonna happen guys obviously they have a lot going on right now mm -hmm. uh there's a lot on their plate and first and foremost hot toys main goal right now 
is going to be to make sure that their their uh, licensees are happy, you know. So with all their major IPs, they have to follow all this content as it releases, and they're going to have to release figures and such for this content. So I know everybody was like, we don't need a She-Hulk, but there's a reason we got a She-Hulk. Mm -hmm. For the licensing reasons, Disney probably wanted a She-Hulk. And the figure's beautiful, by the way, but a lot of people don't like that show, and I understand. But for licensing reasons, they had to do that. So it, it's going to be a matter of them fitting it in. I mean, it was the same thing with, like, the Attack of the Clone stuff. We begged for C-3PO for so long, and I remember J.C. Hong had made a post somewhere. I don't know if it was Facebook or Instagram. He was like, C-3PO is coming. It's just a matter of when, and that's that's everything, guys. It's a matter of when. I feel like a lot of this stuff will get another treatment. It's just a matter of timing, you know? What are we up to? I think I was on Sideshow's page, and as of filming this video and when this video launches, I know there's going to be – I think we got one more round of uh, announcements if yeah. we're lucky you know we're yeah. filming this video on the 29th as of today it's going to launch in a few days later so we still have another you know surprise hopefully fingers crossed but that being said sideshows in the i believe it's 130s even with all the drops we're still yeah. at that like, like 129 130 mark so you know they have their docket pretty much filled into 2023 already going into 2024 yeah so i think these two i think you're going to get a couple of these 2.0s snuck in there you know because they can but as people said and you just touched on you know they have obligations and they have to forecast this stuff so many years in advance realistically um you know they probably get tipped off from marvel what the next phase five is and they have to start making this stuff already so it is yeah. hard to squeeze these 2.0s in i'm sure they pick their battles where they can but uh i do i'd be shocked if we never saw our 2.0 of this figure i would be absolutely shocked personally that's I my would, opinion yeah i would be as well let's take it back to the main screen here we'll get into our final thoughts so guys uh for me i'm getting my final thoughts first once again i do think this absolutely deserves another go over uh, this is one that is going to need a 2.0, so we're not going to leave this one alone because this needs to be touched on again. And I think a lot of collectors, especially, of, of course, Marvel collectors, would be very, very happy if this one got that 2.0 treatment. And I know I would be happy because I don't currently own this one, but this is one that I do think, even if you currently own this figure, you'd be like, oh, thank you so much, Hot. So it's kind of the same, same thing with the Civil War Black Panther. Everybody was super happy to see another one of those, even if they were a current owner, because they made a lot of good improvements to it. Uh, but Ryan, your final thoughts on this uh, 2.0 or leave it alone for the OG Winter Soldier? For me, it's a no-brainer. It's a 2.0. Um, they could do a body mod, you know, make it a little bit better. Obviously, the number one priority would be the leather. I yeah. think Hot Toys, I know the community is always split 50-50 whenever a new release comes out. I think that if they release this figure, you'd have people jumping on it day one. I would be. Yeah. And then you'd have people yeah. that would maybe not get it, but would respect it and still like the fact that it came out and hot toys was listening and that just shows to me if they did that it would show that they're listening to the collectors i do think they still listen to them because they give us stuff that we ask for but yeah. i think this is probably the biggest one and um obviously it would have a price difference i think that price would probably be maybe in the 320 three you know 320 315 mark because of obviously different pricing now inflation goods all that stuff so it's definitely going to have a new a 300 price tag i think you could agree with that i think yeah. 300 is kind of what their new baseline is yeah but it would be justified a hundred percent for what they would probably give us in it 100 percent. right so if it me, has those two sculpts the original one was 240 yeah. so i mean with today's inflation it, it oh, makes yeah, sense yeah. to me and yeah, i would pay it i mean mm -hmm. it would definitely be a, a more valuable to me than like say the stealth suit 2.0 that didn't come with that much you know absolutely 100 percent. so for me it's 2.0 absolutely cool well, guys, I hope you, you all enjoyed this video. Obviously, this is the first of many. We're going to be tweaking our format as the time goes on. It's funny, like Ryan and I recording this. We're like, oh, should we do this here? Should we do this here? So we're kind of learning this format as we go along. This is a new idea, a new series for us. But again, keep an eye out for more uh, collaborative content between the two of us, for sure. And do we want to drop what the next one is going to be? Because we have the next one Let available. them know, Ryan. Let them know. Might as well. I think it's controversial, especially with the new Attack of the Clones line. People have been talking about it. I've been pushing uh hot toys hotline for this to be number two i knew i know bucky's a 2.0 guaranteed but uh i think the next one we should talk about is count dooku that one i think uh people are 50 i think that one is uh 50 50 among the community personally i think there's people that are on both sides of the fence so i think we need to weigh in on that one because it's very relevant especially with what's going on and uh see what our thoughts are about it yeah so guys we're gonna talk about count dooku next so i know like ryan said that's gonna be a a hot topic because it's it seems like the community is very divided on that one so yeah stay tuned for the next episode 
guys uh by the time this airs it will be new year so happy new year to y'all uh, i hope you guys have a, a safe and fun weekend uh, me i got stuff planned so i'm sure i'm going to be busy all weekend but uh happy new year to you and of course as always thank you so much for the support to not only to me but to mr mom collectibles aka ryan uh ryan has been killing over there on his channel and I could see a lot of you guys heading over there after the streams and stuff. So we really do appreciate the kind of the cross support between all of the different guys that appear on the stream over on Hot Toys Hotline. Also, of course, check out Ryan's Instagram. I did not put a link in the description. Sorry, Ryan, for your Instagram page. But however, there is a link to Ryan's YouTube channel. So if you haven't already, Ryan has an end of the year goal of 450 subscribers. So even if he doesn't hit it by then, he's still going for that 450 subscribers. Mm -hmm. So if you haven't subscribed yet, Click the link in the description below and head on over to his channel. Me personally, uh, I'm sitting at just under 600. So it looks like we may hit 600 by the end of the year. So thank you so much, guys, for the amazing support. Uh, on to 1,000, as a lot of you guys always like there to say. Go. That number is just kind of uh, completely out of my realm right now. But hey, uh, there, there's no goal not worth shooting for. So we're going to shoot go. for it. But uh, Absolutely. Well, yeah, guys, I really hope you enjoyed it. Ryan, do you have any final thoughts before we close out this video? As I said, this is going to be an ongoing series. I think this is something that you and I both had separate ideas about and, you know, right. two, two great minds think alike because we message True, each other yes. and we kind of talk and bounce ideas about for 2023. And it was very strange that we both kind of had the same concept. So we decided mm -hmm. to merge our evil yep. minds together to exactly. develop very this, evil. Uh, <laughs> which birthed the series. So exactly. we hope this to be a weekly thing. We don't see people doing this right now, revisiting the past. Everyone's focused on the future. But there's a lot of goodies in the past that I think uh, we could also look at as well and and decide whether it needs to be, uh, you know, reborn and have a 2.0 or we leave it alone. So that's what we're hoping to explore going forward and uh, hope to keep it going for as long as we can. Yeah. And this is a good point. You bring that up because this is a time where with all these pre-orders and all these wait lists, this is a time where the old stuff is slowly getting forgotten. So mm -hmm. perfect time for us to bring out this series and kind of uh, refresh your guys' minds on some of the stuff from the past and what we may see in the future. You never know and kill that like button because maybe we'll get hot toys attention and we might get a winter soldier 2.0 yeah the more attention these videos get guys i mean obviously we don't know if hot toys watches any of our stuff or not but i feel like they have some pr people going around on youtube and and kind of listening to different streamers and youtubers and such so hey hot toys if you're seeing this this is your go ahead and you'll see all the people in the comments talking back because i know people are going to be excited for this one so uh but that's all we got for you guys once again have a happy new year happy have a happy and safe weekend I uh, hope you guys have fun with your family and friends or whatever you're doing over the weekend. Uh, and we will see you in the new year. And it's it's going to be a big yeah. year for us, especially for Ryan and I, because like like he said, and like I said, we got a lot of stuff planned. So uh, I can't wait to share it with you all. So uh, take care, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye.